Hello everyone. Welcome to GTEC. Now let's discuss about comparing decimals. So the topics which we are going to deal in this video is comparing tens, comparing hundreds, comparing thousands, followed by number line, then comes decimals in real life and we'll be discussing about length, weight and capacity. Here we go with the comparison of tens. If you see the first statement, we need to understand that if a block of one unit is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part is denoted or mentioned as 1 by 10th of the unit. So that can be written as 0 0.1 in terms of decimal representation. So 1 by 10 is represented as 0 0.1 in decimal representation. The dot over here denotes the decimal point. Other than this, every fraction will be having a denominator, which is quite a common factor. In terms of fraction, if a denominator is 10, that can be written in the same decimal notation. So if you see over here, we have an example for that. 10 divided, sorry, it's 5 divided by 10 which can be denoted or represented as 0 0.5. Now let's move on to the next comparison of tens in terms of an example. We have 2 ones and 5 tens. The next one is all about 30 and 1 ten. Let's see how it has been represented. So the explanation for the statement is as follows for the first term that is 2 ones and 5 tenths. Since 2 ones so we have represented ones place as 2. We have 5 tenths so 5 divided by 10. So 2 since we have and so we have mentioned the addition operator followed by 5 tenths that is 5 divided by 10. This 2 is carried over here to the next step along with the addition operator. 5 divided by 10 can be represented as 0.5. So on adding 2 plus 0.5, we will be getting an answer of 2.5. If you see the next one that is 30 and 1 tenth, 30 can be represented as 3 zero and 1 tenth is represented as 1 divided by 10. So 30 plus 1 divided by 10, instead of mentioning 1 divided by 10, we can denote it as 0 0.1. On adding 30 plus 0 0.1, we'll be getting an answer of 30.1. So this is how each of the following decimals is getting to be converted in obtaining an answer. Now let's move on to the comparison of hundreds. If a block of one unit is divided into 100 equal parts, then each part is 1 divided by 100 of the unit that can be represented or written as 0 0.01 in terms of decimal notation of representation. So 1 by 100 is represented as 0 0.01 in decimal. Every fraction whose denominator is 100 that can be written as 0 0.05 or some other numbers. So for the term 5 divided by 100, we have represented and notated 0 0.05. So this is how we will be comparing hundreds for a fraction. So we will see some examples. We have 306, 306 and 700. This can be represented as 306. So 300, 306 is 306 plus 700. So since it's hundreds, so 7 divided by 100. The 7 divided by 100 is furthermore simplified into 7 into that is multiplied by 1 divided by 100 which can be simply represented as 0 0.07 As we discussed before, if we have the, 
If we have the fractional term having 100 as the denominator, we can simply mention it as 0.07. So the answer is 306.07. Now let's talk about comparison of thousands. If a block of unit is divided into thousand equal parts, then each part is one divided by thousand of the unit. It is written as 0 0.01 in terms of decimal notation. For every fraction of denominator, we'll be having thousand that can be written as 0.001 for the example which we have over here 5 divided by 1000 is represented as 0.005 now let's talk about the number line if we see about and discuss about this number line a line that graphically expresses the real numbers as a series of portions distributed about a point that is arbitrarily designated as zero and in which the magnitude of each number is represented by the distance of the corresponding point from zero. We can simply mention or represent all decimal numbers on the number line as follows. You can find over here how it has been represented. Now let's talk about decimals in real life. Decimal numbers are used in many of the ways in terms of real life perspective. Let us have some examples. If we represent the unit of money or else length or else weight, we simply use decimal numbers, right? If you see over the money concept, we have 100 pi is equal to 1 rupee. It's known that 1 pi c equal to 1 divided by 100. That is 0 0.01 rupee. Now let's see about the comparison of decimals in terms of length followed by weight and followed by capacity. If you see the first one, in terms of length we have 10 millimeter equals to 1 centimeter. So we can simply mention 1 millimeter equals to 1 divided by 10. That is 0 0.1 centimeter. In terms of 1 centimeter, that is 0 0.01 meter, we can mention 1 meter equals to 0 0.01 centimeter. In terms of weight, 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram. So, 1 gram equal to 1 divided by 1000, that is 0 0.001 kilogram. In terms of capacity, 1000 milliliter equal to 1 liter. So 1 ml that is 1 milliliter equal to 1 divided by 1000. That is nothing but 0 0.001 liter. So this is how the comparison of decimals in terms of length, weight and capacity. Hope you got an idea and had fun by listening and watching the comparison of decimals. Thank you for watching this.